Hey folks, welcome back to Make It Good. A dust collection system is a crucial part of any workshop. And today I'm going to walk you through how I built a cart for my dust collection system out of scrap wood I had laying around. Now my system is made up of a rigid 5 horsepower shop vac and that's routed over to a dust deputy cyclonic dust collector that I have on just an old Home Depot bucket. And it does a great job of collecting all the dust that I produce through my saws and everything else here in the shop. Uh, and it keeps a lot of that dust out of the vacuum and lets that run more efficiently. So it's a great system. Space is at a premium in my 10 by 20 foot shop. And so I need to keep in mind the accessories that go with the shop vac as well as the 20 feet of two and a half inch hose that I drag around my shop and hook up to my tools. This cart also has to be a stable platform for the system. The hose can compress under vacuum and right now can pull over the bucket. And we just can't have that happen while I'm working in the shop. I'll use my shop vac as size reference so that I can start measuring out and building the frames for the top and bottom tiers of the cart. I'm using scrap wood left over from the shop build. Once I get these 2x4s cut to length, I can use them alongside my shop vac to reference the width I need to cut this plywood down for both the top and bottom tiers. Make sure everything is nice and square. And then take it over to the table saw to cut the bases for the top and bottom tier as well as the piece that's going to hold the bucket in place. Now that we have the long sides and the plywood cut, we can just take the measurement to cut the end pieces and begin assembly. Putting everything together with pocket hole joinery. It's pretty easy, keeps everything relatively square. I got this strap clamp for Christmas and been wanting to try it out and keep everything nice and tight while I put the screws in. It works pretty well. One frame down, time to do the next one. Pre-drilling and countersinking where the screws are going to hold the plywood on just to kind of keep everything nice and trim. I added a board on the bottom tier to keep the shop back from rolling around, plus it gives a little compartment for accessories. The vertical boards will also be held in place by pocket screws. I like to use my face clamps to hold these in place and keep them square to the bottom boards. I'm mocking up the top tier where the collection bucket is going to sit. I'm building up some height around the bucket so it's nice and secure and doesn't tip over once the hose is under vacuum. I'll cut a circle out of this plywood to hold it firmly in place. I had this spare bit of chain for marking out circles. Just find the center, measure the radius of the circle, and draw it out with my pencil. Now I can drill a starter hole and cut out the circle with my jigsaw. Then I'll go in and smooth down the rough edges with some 150 grit sandpaper. And now a quick test fit just to make sure everything fits the way I expect it to. And it does. I bet you've been wondering how I'm going to make this work having two tiers and being able to access the shop vac. Well, easy answer is... I'm going to make this thing hinged. The majority of the time, I'll only need to access the dust bucket to empty out what I've collected. The shop vac usually gets very little dust, but now I have access to it in case I need to change out the filter or something like that. I'm adding some latches on the other side just so that everything's nice and secure.
Now I can grab my pocket screws and get this bucket holder put in place. And since this is a mobile cart, it needs some casters on the bottom. Now I can roll around the shop with ease. And here's the cart in its basic form. Now I want to put all of the equipment on here so that I can figure out how to make it even better. So far, so good. I'm going to add a spool for the power cord. I'm cutting some scrap wood down to size and then taking it over to the sander to get it smooth and down to the right shape. Now all I have to do is screw it together, attach it to the side of the cart, and the power cord is much easier to get to. I use the same idea on the other side, just at a larger size. And now I have a spool to hold the two and a half inch vacuum hose. I want to put all my accessories on the cart as well, so drilling some holes and cutting slots to accommodate the extension arms. And then drilling another hole to accommodate the dust brush. All the other pieces can just sit in the tray here. And this keeps everything all together and off my shelves. Finally, I'm going to add a automatic vacuum switch to the cart. Because this cart needs to be mobile and because I'm going to be moving around to different tools around the shop, I'm going to be attaching this to a French cleat so I can put this thing on my French cleat wall and attach both the vacuum to it and the tool so that it can work with any tool at any place in the shop. So let's move over to my miter saw station so I can show you how this works. First I'll take the automatic switch, plug it in, and hang it on the French cleat wall. Then I can grab the cord for the tool and place it in the proper receptacle and do the same thing with the vacuum cord. The switch is set up to automatically turn on the vacuum as soon as the tool is activated and then it delays turning off the vacuum for about five seconds after the tool goes off. Here let me demonstrate how it works. You'll see the hose compress as the vacuum is automatically turned on and then you can listen for the delay of it turning off once the tool is done. Of course, then you can also just plug it in and use it as a vacuum to clean things up around the shop. And here's the final product, a dust collection system cart I built from scrap wood so that I can make my shop a little bit more efficient and keep it a little cleaner. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe, hit that notification button so you know when I post new videos. I appreciate each and every one of you following along. Y'all get out there and make it good. Thanks a lot.